Hello, baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I got another baseball game for you today. This is a Stratomatic baseball game, card and dice. And this is old school. We're back to the old school cards because I'm playing with the 1984 set. And as far as I know, Stratomatic did not do a re, um, reissued 1984 set. So the 1984 set that I have is probably the only type that they have with the old school cards, which I love. I love the old school cards. I wish they would go back to making them that way. So anyway, today we're going to have the 84 Padres visiting the... 1984 New York Mets. And uh, as you might recall, the 1984 Padres were in the playoffs. And in 1984, the New York Mets were only two years away from being world champions. And many of the players on the Mets team, uh, on this 1984 Mets team, were on that 1986 world champion team. Uh, that beat the Red Sox. And the Padres in 1984 went to the, uh, went to the uh, World Series and lost to Detroit. Now, the, the Mets were a, uh, they were a good team. Um, they were indeed a very good team. They were uh, 90 and 72 and in second place in the NL East. So, um, Without further ado, we're going to get on with the lineups. First, for the visiting Padres, who will be batting first, we have uh, Alan Wiggins leading off and playing second base. Gary Templeton will bat second and play shortstop. Tony Gwynn is batting third and playing right field. Greg Nettles is in the cleanup spot and playing third base. Steve Garvey will be batting fifth and playing first base. Terry Kennedy will be doing the catching today and batting sixth. Batting seventh will be Carmelo Martinez, and he'll be in left field. Kevin McReynolds will be the center fielder, and he will be batting eighth. And the pitcher today is going to be Tim Lawler for the uh, Padres. And they are going, that lineup is going up against the doctor, Doc Gooden. And so with all of that having been said, I think we are ready to get underway with this. Wiggins gets a 4-7, and that is a strikeout. So Wiggins with the strikeout. Gary Templeton... And he will be batting, uh, Gary Templeton will be batting left against uh, Doc Gooden. That is a 6-8, and uh, that's a strikeout. So Gooden strikes out, the, you can expect a lot of strikeouts today. He strikes out the first two batters, and Tony Gwynn, who did not strike out very often, and in fact, he gets a 5-5, five, five, and that is going to be a single. So uh, the uh, Padres have their first base runner in the form of uh, Tony Gwynn, and that brings Greg Nettles up. And Greg Nettles gets a 2-4, and that will be a ground ball, um, ground ball second base double play. So, or not really a double play, it's just one out, but that is the third out, so he grounds out 4-3, to three and the Padres come away with nothing. So, we'll go over the Mets lineup. Um... The Mets will lead off with Mookie Wilson in center field. Then Wally Backman at second base. Keith Hernandez will be the uh, first baseman today, and he's batting third. Daryl Strawberry will be in the cleanup spot and the right fielder. George Foster will be the left fielder, batting fifth. Hubie Brooks will be batting sixth and be the third baseman today. Rafael Santana is going to be the shortstop, and he's batting seventh. Mike Fitzgerald batting eighth and doing the catching today. 
And, of course, you know, we've already mentioned Doc Gooden on the mound for the Mets. So, um, Mookie Wilson is up, and he's up against Tim Lawler, which we also already mentioned. And he is batting right against, um, against Lawler. So, let's see. Uh, against a, a lefty, a left-handed pitcher, and that is a single. So, Moogie Wilson leads off with a hit. He is aboard. Now, let's see what he is stealing. He is a double-A stealing. He is going to try to steal second. And he is going to be gunned. I'm pretty sure he's going to be gunned because the it, there was a negative... Yeah, there. I mean, because... Uh, I automatic. I have a policy that I automatically am watching all batters when they get on, especially somebody like Mookie Wilson. So that's right there a negative three, and then um, the catcher's arm is a negative one. So yeah, he's gunned out. He's out stealing. Terry Kennedy throws him out, and Wally Backman is up. He gets a 4-7, and he is batting right and against uh, Lawler, and that is going to be a single. Now, he gets a board, and he is a stealing double A. So, do they have to double down on that? I think they do. And he makes it. I don't even have to do any math on that. It was a 3, so he made it. So, he did steal second. That makes up for the fact that Wilson was thrown out a little bit. Keith Hernandez is up, and he gets a 1-9. And that is going to be a single to center field. Now, the center fielder for the Padres has a zero arm. So let's see if we would send him. It is, it is Backman, and Backman's a good runner. He is a running one to 16, a zero arm uh, would be a zero. So um, that would be, uh, it would be one to 16. So they are going to try it. They're going to try that. And he does make it. So they have a run already. Hernandez gets a single and he knocks in Backman. So Lawler's already allowed a run. And Keith and uh, Daryl Strawberry, the straw man, is up. He gets a 4-5, and he is a lefty on lefty. Um, and that's going to be a ground ball second base C. That advances the runner to second, but there's two out. And George Foster is the batter. George Foster, of course, at this point near the end of his career, and he gets a 5-11. And that is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman is Wiggins. And Wiggins is a 2-E31 at second base. Or wait a minute. He's a 3-E34. And uh, that's an 11. So let's see what that gets us. Where that puts us. Second base, yeah, it's going to be on his, I figured it would be. It's going to be on his card, so we have to roll the dice and see what a 30, E34 does. Probably going to make an error, but we'll see. That's an 8, and second base, E34 is going to be an E1, yeah. So, um... Was there, uh, yeah, let's see. Hernandez was at first, and, yeah, and then Foster got on by an E4. So Hernandez advances to second, and now Huey Brooks is on, up with two on and two down, and he gets a 1-5 against a lefty, and that is going to be a home run. We're not even talking about this. Gone. <laughs> so that's a three-run home run <laughs> for Hubie Brooks. That's crazy. The Mets have just exploded on uh, Lawler here. And 
And Rafael Santana is up. Bases are clear. And he gets a 5-10. And that is going to be, he's a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a strikeout. So, <laughs> thanks a little bit late there, Lawler. But uh, the Mets explode for four runs here, even though they had their leadoff batter on board and thrown out at second base. Otherwise, it'd be 5 nothing right now. So, Steve Garvey is the batter for the uh, Padres here in the second. And that is going to be a 4-7. 4-7 is going to be a strikeout. We've already established that. There's one down. And that is the third third K of the game for Gooden. Terry Kennedy is up. He gets a 5-7. And a 5-7 is going to be a strikeout. Oh, set all the sevens. I think it's all the sevens. No, no, there's a walk. One of them is a walk against a right-handed batter. But Carmelo Martinez... 1-6, and against a righty, that's going to be a fly ball left field B. So he at least flies out, but the Padres get nothing in the second. We go to the bottom of the second with Mike Fitzgerald up. Lawler's still out there for some reason. Um, let's see, that is going to be a single. So Fitzgerald is up with a, he gets a single, gets a board with a single. And that brings up the doctor. Gooden is up. And they sacrifice with him and it's good. So that moves him to second base. That moves the uh, uh, runner to second base. So one down and Mookie Wilson back to the top of the order. Mookie Wilson up 5-5, five, five. Uh, batting right is a fly ball center field B. So he flies out. And Wally Backman is the batter. He gets 3-10, and that is going to be a fly ball left field B. So, no runs for the Mets. In the second, we go to the top of the third. The Padres down by four. They need four runs here. McReynolds is getting a 4-5, and that is going to be... Now, of course, McReynolds did spend some time also with the Mets. He might have even been on the 86 World Champion Mets. But in 84, he was on the Padres, and uh, that is going to be a strikeout. So... Gooden is whiffing people left and right here. As you might well expect, that's his fifth strikeout. And we're only in the third inning. And then the uh, the batter is Tim Lawler. I think they're going to pinch hit for him right here. I think that's only the uh, prudent thing to do. They're going to go all or nothing right here with Champ Summers batting against Dwight Gooden. And he gets a 6-9, six, 6-9 nine, six, nine against a left-handed batter. That is going to be a ground ball second base C. So he is out. Um... And that brings up Alan Wiggins. Alan Wiggins with two down. Two down quickly here. And 5'11", batting, um, batting, batting right. No, batting left 
is uh, ground ball second base, and the second baseman is Backman. And Backman is a 3E16, and that's an 11. Let's see what that gets us probably off the card. Got to look at the E rating, yep. But he's an E16, which is a lot better. And that's a 5. And uh, let's see, 16 and a 5 is an E1. That is an E1. So even Backman makes an error. And um, so, yeah, E... E4 puts Wiggins aboard. And Gary Templeton's up. And he gets a 3-7. He is batting, um, well, let's see, against a right-handed batter, 3-7. It's an out. He lines out to second base. So line out to four. The Padres get no runs. We go to the bottom of the third. They did pinch hit for the pitcher last inning, and so they are going to be bringing in a new pitcher, and that new pitcher is going to be Andy Hawkins. And um, let's see, what is he? Um, yeah, okay, so Andy Hawkins is coming in. And we will put his batting card in there where he where he needs to be for summers and so summers is out of the game that brings up keith hernandez for the mets he's the leadoff batter for the mets here in the bottom of the third and he gets a four seven and uh that is going to be a walk. So Andy Hawkins walks the first guy he faces. And here's Daryl Strawberry, the straw man. And he gets a 3-7. And that is going to be a... Um, that's going to be a line, uh, line out, right? Line out to second base. One down, George Foster. George Foster gets a 2-10. That's going to be a fly ball left field. And Hubie Brooks is up. Two down with a runner at first and Hubie Brooks. And he gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop A. So that is it. And the Mets get no runs there. But we go to the top of the fourth with the Padres still down by the score of 4 nothing. And Tony Gwynn is the batter. He's a perfect guy to get them started here, to get them kick-started. 4-3 is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is George Foster, and he is a 4. And that is a 15, so we'll see what 4 and 15 is. 15 and 4 is a single. So Gwen works his way aboard on uh, thanks mainly to some poor fielding in left field by Foster. So he gets a hit and he's aboard. No outs. And Greg Nettles. Out. And Greg Nettles gets a 5-3. And 5-3 is um, going to be a fly ball right field. Now, the right fielder for the Mets is Strawberry. And Strawberry is... Oh, I didn't write down what Strawberry is. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, he's a 3-E-7. So, 3-E-7, uh, that's a 10. So, let's check that out. Nope, it's going to be on his card. So, um, yeah, so he's an E7. And 
And that is a six. And that is going to be a an E2. It's a two base air straw man making a two base air man. He's the if they if they're not careful, they're gonna let the uh, Padre sneak back into this thing. And that brings up Steve Garvey. So professional hitter here with two on and nobody out. And he gets a 4-3. And 4-3 is a ground ball second base X. That is Backman, and that's a seven. And Backman is a 3E16. And seven and three, that is going to be a ground ball C. And ground ball C, I don't think anybody, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there wasn't anything special on, so. Batter is out at first, and the runners advance one base, so. That's what I would have expected to happen anyway, but. He does, uh, Garvey does knock in a run, though. Now there's a man at third with one down and Terry Kennedy up. Terry Kennedy gets a 5-7 and that is going to be a strikeout. Terry Kennedy striking out for the second time today. There's two down now and a man 90 feet away and Carmelo Martinez up and he gets a 4-7. And I think we have decided that that is decidedly a strikeout. So the Padres only get one run in the fourth, thanks to an error and some poor fielding by Foster in left field that generally caused him to not get to the ball. So Santana is the batter here in the bottom of the fourth, score 4-1, four to one, and 5-10, uh, he is a righty, and that's going to be a single. So Santana gets a hit. He's aboard. Now let's check his stealing. He is a stealing E, so I thought maybe he was a little faster, but he is not. Fitzgerald is a batter. He gets a 6-9. And 6-9 is going to be a double. So Fitzgerald, he's having a day, isn't he? He has a single and a double today. And now the Padres are going to bring the infield in with no outs and runners at first and second. And White Gooden up. So what are the... Here's the question. What are the uh, Mets going to do? I think they're just going to let Gooden swing away. And he gets a 4-6, and 4-6 is a walk. They walk Gooden. They walk the doctor. You know what? The uh, now, that they're, now that there's a man at first and a double play is in effect, the Padres are going to play back, and they're going to play for the double play and concede this run. They do have a good offense. 4-7, Mookie Wilson is the batter. And um, he gets a walk. So that knocks in a run. And the run is Santana. Backman is up. And Backman gets a 4-6. And he is batting... Um, he's a switch hitter, so he would be batting left, and that is a walk. And so another run comes in. 
the Padres, this is just not their day. Um, no, still no outs. Keith Hernandez is up, and he gets a 2 7. And 2 7 is finally a strikeout, which they sorely needed. Base is still loaded, though, and one down, and Daryl Strawberry up, and he gets a 4-4, four, four, and he's batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. That is Nettles, and Nettles is a 2-E-3. That's a 17. 17-2 17 at third base is a ground ball double play. So they got the double play they needed, but two runs came in. And now the Mets have a 6-1 to lead. The Padres looked like maybe they were fighting their way back into this in the fourth just to give up two more in the fourth and now to be down by uh, five runs. We're going to the top of the fifth with McReynolds, the batter. And he gets a 3-10, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. Uh, that brings up Hawkins. Now, Hawkins is a middle reliever that um, can pitch some serious innings, and they do need somebody to go some serious innings. So they're going to let him hit. And he gets a 3-7, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. So he goes out 4-3, to three, which brings up Wiggins, a Mr. Wiggins. And he gets a 2-8, and uh, against a righty, that's a single. So Wiggins is aboard. Uh, I, I don't think it's a stretch to say he has to try to steal second. And he does make it. Again, I don't think there's anybody that throws out a double A with a five, with a roll of five. So he makes, the, he does steal second. And um, Templeton is the batter. And he gets a four eight, and he is batting left, and that will be a strikeout. So. They tried, they gave it their old college try, but we're going to the bottom of the fifth with the score 6-1 Mets in this one. Daryl Strawberry is up, he gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Strawberry strikes out. Or wait a minute, this is, this is Foster, so let's see. 1-7? is a home run. Foster, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. All right, Foster gets a home run. Hubie Brooks is up and he gets a 112, which is a hit by pitch. So Hawkins is just terrible, I don't know. I don't know how these, it, it, it seems like the Padres should not have been very good. <laughs> but Santana is the batter, and it's a 1-6, and that is a double. They are just taking Hawkins apart. That brings up Fitzgerald, who's two for two today with a double and a single. And, uh, and, of course, he walks. <laughs> so he gets a board for, um, well, it was definitely a bad decision to keep Hawkins out there. Gooden is up, and he gets a 4-5, and that is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for the... Um, uh, for the Padres is Templeton, and he is a 2, E31. That is a 3, so 3 and 2 at shortstop is a ground ball C, so a run scores. Gooden with the, uh, with the RBI. And that's Hubie Brooks that scores for the second run. I mean, at this point, you know, who knows? Infield in, why? <laughs> so Mookie Wilson is up, 
and uh, four six is going to be a single to center field, and they're just going to play station to station because why not? They're just going to you know. That's three runs, and I mean Hawkins is just really giving them nothing to play for now. And now that's a that is a a single double asterisk. Backman with a hit. That's another run. The only one out here. Keith Hernandez is up and he gets a 2 8. That's a strikeout. So there's two down now and Daryl Strawberry up. And Daryl Strawberry gets a fly ball, center field B. But, but four runs come in for the Mets, and now they have a an a, a ten to one lead, ten to one. So I guess if you're watching, if you're still watching this game, you're watching either to see how many strikeouts Gooden can end up with, or how many runs the Mets can themselves can end up with. Um, and Gooden right now, by the way, has, let's see, two, four, five, eight, nine strikeouts. So we're going to the top of the fifth inning with Tony Gwynn up. And he gets a four, eight, and even he strikes out. He's not even immune to the old strikeout bug. And this is the sixth, not the fifth by the way. Greg Nettles is up with one down and he gets a 6-8 and that is going to be a strikeout. So that's his, that's Gooden's what, 12th now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, no, 10th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Okay, I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark it down here in the side so we can keep it going here. And then uh, Steve Garvey is up, and he gets a three eight, and that is gonna be a single. So Garvey gets a base hit. He's aboard with a hit, and Terry Kennedy is a batter. He gets a four eight, and that's a strikeout number eleven for the doctor. And no runs come in in the sixth for the Padres. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and uh, George Foster is going to be the batter. He homered last time up, and there will be a pitching change. Now, for the Padres, they've seen enough of Hawkins. I'm sure that McKeon has seen enough of Hawkins to last him a lifetime. They're going to bring in Greg Booker. Greg Booker in 1984 pitched 57 innings. And had a 330 earned run average. A little, probably a little early for Booker, but I mean, you know, you got to do something. You can't have, um, you don't want to see Hawkins out there again. So 2 9 for um, Foster is going to be a fly ball center field. He gets an F8. Hubie Brooks is up, and Hubie Brooks homered this game. He gets a 210, and that's going to be a fly ball to left field. Well, at least Booker came in and put the fire out, but the fire already burned the building to the ground. And that's going to be a foul out to the catcher for Santana. No runs come in for the Mets. We go to the top of the seventh with the Padres down by the score of 10-1. to 1. Carmelo Martinez is up. He gets a 5-9, and that is going to be a strikeout. You guessed it. So that's number 12 for the doctor. Kevin McReynolds is up. He gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a triple. So... Kevin McReynolds works a triple, and now Booker is the batter, and they will pinch hit for Booker.
And the pinch hitter is going to be Tim Flannery. Pinch hitter deluxe for the, the Padres. And he gets a 2-9, which is going to be a ground ball B. And uh, that doesn't force the runner, so nobody scores on that. The runner does not score. There is one. Is that one down? No, that's two down. Okay. And Alan Wiggins is the batter. Two down with a man 90 feet away. Sure, they'd like to get him in, but what's the point? So, <laughs> ground ball second base. Uh, Backman is the second baseman, and he is a 3E34. That's a 10. 10 and 3. Uh, we got to go look at his card. And uh, 34. That is a five. Wait a minute. I thought he was. Oh, he's a six to E. All right, he's an E sixteen. So that's what I thought. So sixteen, and that's a roll of five. I think that's another error again. It is. It's a one base error. That's a second error that he's made in the run scores. And uh, who was that? That was the. Uh, that was uh, yeah, the, the Flannery. Right? No. No. Uh, that was um, Wiggins. So Wiggins gets on by an E4 for the second time. In fact, he was the batter both times when Backman made the error. So um, the run scores as a result, and now it is 10 to 2, and the batter is Gary Tillman. Gary Templeton gets a 4-7. That is a strikeout. And that, my friends, is number 13. I am, you know, I don't know in real life if they would have kept Gooden out there. But let's see. He, uh, in 1984, Gooden had 218 innings. I think he can do it. But, I'm, yeah, I mean, we're going to keep him out there just to see how many guys he can strike out. So the pitcher now is going to be Craig Lefferts. That's the new pitcher for the Padres. And um, Tony Gwynn is going to be the batter. Uh, let's see. That was the seventh, wasn't it? Oh, no, the, the Mets are up in the seventh. So, yeah, the Padres got no runs in the seventh. We're in the bottom of the seventh. And Fitzgerald... Is having a perfect day. He uh, is two for two with a double, a single, and he also walked. And he gets a 6-3. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball to second. Now, he is a 2-E31, but that's a four. Four and two at second base. He just made the play, so it's four to three. So that's the first time he was out today. That brings up Gooden. Of course, we're going to let him back because we want to keep him in, see how many strikeouts he can get. 4-3, Fitzgerald. Um, that is going to be a... Or no, 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 this is this is the uh, the pitcher. And... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is Gooden. Yeah, this is Gooden. Okay. So, 4-3, and that is going to be a... Ground ball to first base. The first baseman is Garvey. And Garvey is a 2E0, and that's a 12. So we'll check the chart. And that's going to be on Garvey's uh, uh, E rating, and he's a 0. So obviously that he made the play. And uh, that is going to be uh, ground out 3. And brings us to the top of the Mets order with Mookie Wilson. And he gets a 4-7. Um, and he would be batting right. 
and that's going to be a single. So Wilson with a single. We're going to say that the Mets would abide by the rules of etiquette here and not steal. And then Backman comes up and he gets a 3-8. And that's going to be a single to left field. And uh, I don't know. It's it, hard to say you would not send him the extra, or that he wouldn't go the extra base. He's a running 1-17. to um, I think we're going to send him. Ooh, ooh, well, let's check it. So let's see. Um, that was to left field, the left fielder's arm for the uh, for the Padres is a zero, so he does make it. So there are runners at the corners with two down. And the batter is indeed, is it Keith Hernandez? Yes, it is. And he gets a 1 4, and that is going to be a fly ball right field. So no runs come in. It comes close. They come close to getting runs, but they don't. And we go to the top of the eighth with the uh, Padres at bat against the doctor who has 13 strikeouts and Tony Gwynn facing Tony Gwynn 411. And uh, that is going to be a fly ball center field X. The center fielder for the Mets is McReynolds. Or no, it's. Um, no, it's, it's confusing, but it's Wilson. Wilson in center field is a 2, E5. That's a 14. 14 and 5 is, or wait, um, it's a roll of 14, and he's a 2, so that's a fly ball C. So Gwyn flies out. which brings up Nettles. And Nettles hits a 4-9. Four, four does that get him a strikeout? It does. So that's number 14. That is number 14. So there's two down and Steve Garvey up. And he gets a 2-7, which is a single. Garvey, two for four on the day, and Terry Kennedy up. And Terry Kennedy gets a 2-9, which is a pop-out to first base. They don't get any runs in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Daryl Strawberry is the batter. He gets a 6-8, and that's going to be a line out to second base. George Foster has a home run today, and he has another home run. So George Foster hits another home run. Unbelievable. So the Mets have another run, and Hubie Brooks is up, and he gets a 6-12. And uh, that's going to be a ground ball first base. And Santana is up. I didn't, you know, I didn't think Foster was all that good in the end of his career, but he's got two home runs today. 4-4, four, four, and that is going to be a double. Santana rips a double. That brings up Fitzgerald, who's had a good day. He's only been out once. And he gets a 211, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. So, uh, one run comes in, though, and it is now 11 to 1, right? 8, 10, 11, yep, 11 to 1. And so now we're not really looking for the Padres to get um, 10 runs. What we're looking for is to see if the doctor can strike out the side. Carmelo Martinez is the batter. He gets a 4-11, and that's going to be a ground ball um, 
That's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman is Garvey, and that is a 17, and that's going to be an out. Or wait a minute, no, the first baseman is um, the first baseman's Hernandez, and it's still going to be an out, but he grounds out the first. Kevin McReynolds gets a 210. That's going to be a fly ball to left field. That brings up the pitcher spot, so of course they will pinch hit. They're not going to let the pitcher bat just to see if we can get a 14th or whatever it is strikeout. 15th strikeout for Gooden. We're going to see if Bavakwa can get on is what we're going to do. Bavakwa is the pinch hitter. He gets a 5-9, and that is a strikeout. And so he strikes out, and the doctor ended with 15 strikeouts. And that's your final score here. Um, the Padres getting trounced pretty badly here by the score of 11, I believe 11 to... 11 to 2. I, I guess I forgot a run somewhere along the way. So it was 11 to 2. 84 Padres getting jacked by the 84 Mets. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off.